name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant of the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, husband to a murdered wife, father to a murdered son, and I will have my revenge in this life or the next. But first, let's meet the teams. <laughs> On my right, Ed Dovey, an accomplished illustrator whose artwork is currently exhibited in Cardiff Castle. Stuart McCartney, a genealogy enthusiast who has researched over 1,400 members of his family tree. And their captain, Marianne Fairthorne, a festival volunteer who once built a stone circle in her family's garden. They like nothing more than a weekend spent waist deep in mud. They are the festival fans. Marianne, you lost against the Francophiles, but won against the general practitioners. What have you learnt from those experiences? You uh, win some, you lose some. You will be facing, on my left, Roger Johnson, an English graduate who is also a published author and former folk club manager. Jean Upton, a retired advertising and publicity manager who enjoys yoga and fencing and is a descendant of Edward Lear. And their captain, Jim Crozier, a philosophy enthusiast who has ambitions to be a voiceover artist. United by a fondness for felines, they are the cat lovers. Jim, you beat the corpuscles in your first heat, then lost to the Celts. What's been the highlight of your experience so far? Uh, well, getting a second bite of the cherry is pretty nice, uh, but also there was a, a pleasantly fruity Chardonnay in the hotel last night. That's probably the highlight so far. And what tactics do you plan to employ for this game? Go with our instincts, I think. Well, my instinct is that it's time to play round one. I simply want to know what's the connection between four apparently random clues. Now, remember, teams, whoever wins tonight is going straight through to the semi-finals. Whoever loses is going home. Cat lovers, you won the toss, but you've decided to put the festival fans in first. Which hieroglyph would you like? Horned viper, please. OK. You're going to be seeing picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Okay. I don't know who don't that is. Him. Next. California. Does he have a name of a state? I don't know. Um, that might be. I, we should keep going because we don't know who the first one is. And yeah. help. Next. Is that a drawing by anybody? What the hell is that? I've got no idea. I don't know Fire. what that is. Right, next then. What's his name? I don't know. I think we're just going to have to go for. Um, I think maybe Sunshine or something. Okay. Well, if they wouldn't have state names, okay, if they had well, a state highlight. Sorry, I do need an answer. So I'll I'll <laughs> just go for sunshine. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So there's a possible bonus chance for the cat lovers. Spirals. It's not spirals, but are you recognising the third clue? Yeah. Mm. What is that? It's a Fibonacci spiral. It's a golden spiral, also known as a golden oh, section. Golden that spiral. boxer. Yeah. Anybody recognise the boxer? No. I'm sure, it's called golden. Yes, it's Oscar de la Hoya, the golden boy of boxing. California, the golden state. Oh, okay. uh, Florida is the sunshine state, the golden state. And the last one, come on. Jack Nicholas, the golden bear. It's Jack Nicholas, the golden bear of golf. So there are no points there. Cat lovers, your chance to choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> oh, good athletics. OK, uh, next, please. Each make a wave. Um, next, please. Oh, Any, anything coming with something to work yeah. with here. Yeah. Next, please. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> um, Norwegian form is Sven? Is A. Uh, no, B, because they were. <laughs> The letter B. B is not the answer, I'm afraid. Festival fans, do you want to go for a bonus? Please. Um... No, it's too long. So, the answer here is odd and even. Ah. Around a roulette wheel, you have the even chances. Odd and even are two of them. Sin S and cos S, that's examples of odd and even functions. Good word for it. Odd and even, I'm not sure they're pronounced like that, but they are Norwegian forenames. And of course, X and X plus one, if X is an integer, mm. then one of the numbers must be odd and the other one even. Now, while you're all kicking yourselves, you may also choose a question. Festival fans. Uh, lion, please. Lion. The music question. What's the connection between these clues? 
Here's the first. What the? It's not. It's not. I know the song. Is that the next one? No. Is, is it Republica? Is this Republica or someone? That's the third one. Okay, next. So they're all they're all shows, aren't they? Because you've got Sale of the Century, Wipe Out, they're game shows. Um, they're game shows. They are songs that share their names with the titles of quiz or game shows. You didn't hear the last one, which would have been Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? What did you hear? We had Wipeout on three, which I recognised. Uh, we had Tale of the Century on two. By, do you know? Well, I thought it was Republic, but you're apparently well, no, not. No, 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 um, I, I don't know, then. Maybe it's not. Way. It's Sleeper. Yeah. What about Going for Gold? That's what we heard first. Do you know who did that? Shed no. Seven. Oh. It is Shed no, Seven. No, give me the title, I got it. Yeah. Very well done. So you're off the blocks with some points, Festival fans. Back to the cat lovers to pick a question. Eye of Horus. Please. Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. No, obviously not. Spruce Goose, wasn't it? Jolly oh. Body Spruce Goose, do you think yeah. they're rhyming, rhyming couplets? Do you, you want, want to go for the next one? Yeah. Spruce Goose. Do you want to take the next one? Or do you want to go for it on that? Uh, go for the next. Next, please. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, rhyming names. Rhyming nicknames. They have rhyming nicknames. You should have gambled after mm. two clues. They have rhyming nicknames. You didn't need to see England cricket supporters, mm. otherwise known as... Barmy Army. Army. That's right. And what about the clues you did see? Trolley Dolly. Spruce Goose. And Ali Pally. That's it. They all have rhyming nicknames. Well done. So you get two points. And back to the fans to pick a question. Two reads, please. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Chuckles. That's where they expelled all the yeah, population to build an airbrake. Yeah, Do you want to go for the next one? Because yeah, there yeah, might be yeah. other things about it. Next. Right, on degrees west, these are the wrong old bag of impugnation. Chagos, where's Chagos? Go for the next one. Next. They are British overseas territories. Right, do you want to say? Do you want to say? No, I'm not sure. Right, next. Yeah, yeah. Three seconds. Yeah, it's British overseas territories. Well, now, are you completely happy with that answer? Um. It's still. They're, yeah, I've got, it's they're all British overseas territories disputed by other people. That's what it is. Of course, I have to accept British overseas territories because I don't want to get letters from furious people who feel that very strongly. But in fact, to go a little wider, they are all UK overseas territories that are in dispute from other nations. But well done, you get the points. Cat lovers, back to you. And the final question is the twisted flax. That's what you'll be getting. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. What do you think? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, but what about Zutador? Mm. I don't know. That's something else. Are they French? Um, they, they? they tend not to be used in those languages. Next, please. Mm. Top scores. Oh, oh, top scores yeah. in Scrabble. Yeah. Top scoring tiles in Scrabble. Now, I think I will accept it, but would you like to be any more specific? Top scoring... Ten-point letters in Scrabble. That's oh, what it is. Again, well. I have to take it because they are the top scoring tiles, but technically all well ten-point scorers in those respective languages. At the end of round one, then, speaking of scores, the festival fans have got three points, the cat lovers have got three points. <laughs> Round two, I'm sure the teams will remember, is the sequences round. They may see up to three clues before telling me what comes forth. Festival fans, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Lion, please. OK. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. It's, it's somebody who were playing for a club. I think it could be. Somebody went from Lazio to Middlesbrough. Try the third one. Next. Oh, 
You know how little I know about football. Oh, yeah, so what club do you want? We're running out of time, so I'm going to press something. Three seconds. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho is it's not, not the answer oh, I'm looking for. No, 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 not the answer, so there's a possible bonus for the cat lovers. No, it's not Man United. Um, Barcelona. Yeah, that's not it either. No. I'm going to tell you the answer first, which is West Bromwich Albion. No. Oh. I'll tell you who once managed West Bromwich Albion. Mm. Roy Hodgson. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Manager of Real Madrid was Fabio Capello. Uh, oh. A previous yeah. manager of Middlesbrough, Steve McLaren, and of Lazio, Sven Goran Eriksson. What is the connection? Oh, previous Dublin England managers. They are the teams managed by people before they went on to manage the England team. Mm, a bit lateral for me, We're not sports fans here this evening. Interesting. Let's hope that doesn't come up again. This comes as no <laughs> surprise to anyone. <laughs> Cat lovers, we're coming back to you to choose a question. <clears throat> Two reads, please. Two reads. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. And you can. Right, because the limits is a sequence, so yeah. it's going to move into something. Um, I think we need the next one. Next one, please. Ice cream, Ice cream sandwich. That's reminding me of something. And I can't for the life of me see what. No uh, idea. It's not lyrics of a song. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think I'm Three seconds. Nothing. Yes. Ginger nuts. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Festival fans, do you want to have a go for a bonus? Battenberg cake. No, I mean delicious suggestions from both of you. <laughs> I'm interested that neither side have noticed that. Quite apart from anything else, it's going alphabetically. G for gingerbread, H for honeycomb, I, I for ice cream sandwich. Jaffa cake. I was expecting someone to guess the food stuff beginning mm -hmm. with J, but what I'd have needed to hear is jelly bean. Oh. Ah. And that's because these are versions of the Android operating system. Yeah. Yum yum. Back to you, festival fans. What would you like? Twisted flax. All right. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. So, okay, but then what's... Oh, yeah, but how does it go? Is there, it's not smaller than one. What's at the hand? It's in between them. Next. So it's just got to be one in the White House, maybe. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Well, I think better yeah. idea, so... One in the White House? Not the answer, I'm afraid. So it's a possible bonus to the cat lovers. One Independence Hall. Not it either. Now, I think you probably both know that these are the reverse of American banknotes. You were fooled only temporarily by clue two. There is a $2 bill, in yes. fact. You don't see it very often, but there is one, and it's got signing the Declaration of Independence on the back. On the back of the $1 bill, the Great Seal of America. Yeah. Great Seal of the USA. Eugene, I lived an American. in the United States for 21 years now. Is that what it is? I assumed you were doing so well in life, you just didn't bother with the $1 bills. <laughs> the 100 you'd have known. Great Seal of the USA, that's what I wanted to hear. Back to you, cat lovers, to pick a question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, horned Viper, please. Horned Viper. These are going to be pictures. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Farm animals. One of each is a horse. Next, please. Um, what is it saying? Never been called. Okay, the author says ten. Ten, eleven. Oh, twelve. So it's going to be something for thirteen. Next, please. Mining. Mining. This is something to board game. Five seconds. Yes. Thirteen, a construction site. I can't take it. That's not the answer. So there's a bonus chance for the festival fans. Retail. You think? Yeah. Okay. Thirteen retail. 
I'm afraid not, though had you said a shop selling nuclear weapons, I would have said uh. that. <laughs> no, now, these are districts in The Hunger Games, the book and film. That's what the numbers mean. 10th district, livestock, 11 agriculture, 12 mining, and the 13th, nuclear. I might have taken graphite mining, which is, I think, what they pretend to be doing when they're making weapons. Might even have taken underground dwellings, which they also have there. But shops, I think, no. And what was your answer? Construction site. Construction site. Mm, Not the answer. Know. Festival fans. It's um, your chance to choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Um, next, please. So if you've got three and five, five and seven, seven and eleven, eleven and thirteen, maybe consecutive primes. But then there might be something else about it. I think it'd be safer to try another one. So let's try the next one. Ah. So oh they're oh they're primes that are two apart, aren't they? So then that would be seventeen and nineteen. That's seventeen and nineteen? Not just ordinary primes, but twin primes, and the next two would be 17 and 19. That's right, prime numbers that are two apart. Well done. Cat lovers, we're back to you with the water question. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, please. The, well, the, the presidents of Egypt. Okay, yes. in what order? Um, going backwards? No, going forwards. Uh, next move. Mubarak, who's the mercy? Mercy. Uh, you sure? Yes. Okay, I'll get you to answer this one. Okay. Mr. Johnson? Uh, mercy. Good current affairs, Mohammed Morsi is the next president of Egypt in chronological order. Very well done. I must say, I'm glad as we came to the end of the round, both of you got some points. <laughs> Looking a little low scoring for a moment there. That could have been embarrassing, but we're all right. At the end of round two, the festival fans have got five points and the cat lovers have got five points. <laughs> time for the connecting wall. You're all familiar with this by now. Cat lovers, time for you to choose lion. I mean, sorry, for you to have the choice. <laughs> lion or water? I'm going to surprise you. We're going to go for the lion. You have chosen lion every time. I hope it suits you as well this time. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Okay. I don't know what that word means. Uh, that's the capital of Madagascar. Okay. So what else what about Port Natal? All right, we have a nosegay and a garland and a festoon and a corsage. Would you like mm -hmm. to try them? Yeah. No, no okay. so there's another Button one. Also. Okay. Ah, F, um, Capitals that have changed their names. Salisbury, right. Rangoon, uh, yeah, Tananarive, and Bom or cat cities that have changed their name. Bombay, no. no. Okay. okay, right. Okay. So um, we tried it without that. Oh, Corral, Corsal. Okay. Sorry, no, oh, I need yes. to try to get to one there. What was the other no, festoon, wasn't it? Yeah. Or Corsage. Uh, well, which one are you going for? No. Right, okay. okay. So we'll try it without the festoon. You just did that. You just did, did that. that one. I'll we'll try it without. There you go. Right. <coughs> Assemble, corral, muster, uh, convene. or convene. convene. And organise. Yes, try. Three spots in your okay. out now. Be careful. Plenty of time to go here. So, uh, you're talking about cities that have changed names. Yes, and I suspect that Port Natal. What do we is think? Like... That, what's Corsage if it's not. Uh, uh... Think of wordplay. Okay, um, Sage, Goon. Chimes. Mm. Ah, ah yes. chives. chives, sage, bay, bay. bay. nice or oregano, um, at all. Is it tan tannin? No. Yes. Um, yes. Alice, 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 bay, chives, sage. Just so yes. yeah. Just make it a little easier. Right. This one looks like one most likely to contain another yes. word. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Alice. Herb. Anise. Why? Oh, Garnice. Anise. There you go. You solved the wall. Four points immediately for the groups.
Let's look for the connections. Festoon, nosegay, buttonhole, garland. Uh, floral arrangements. Types of floral bouquet, quite right. Corral or coral, assemble, muster, convene. Uh, all synonyms sort of bring together. Gathering, together. Gathering people together, quite right. What about this one? Corsage, archives, Bombay, organise. They contain the names, names of herbs. You spotted it just near the end there, didn't you? They actually end with the names of herbs. Sage, chives, bay and anise, hidden in the end yeah. of those words there. And this last one, Rangoon, Salisbury, Tanana Reeve, Port Natal. I think they're all cities that, whose names have been changed. That is correct. They're the old colonial names of cities. Mm. What are they known as now, can you tell me? Salisbury is Harare. Mm -hmm. uh, Tananarivo, I think, is Antananarivo. That's right, couple of Madagascar. I, I can't remember what Rangoon is, and no. I don't know what Port Natal is, so... Rangoon is now known as Yangon, and Port Natal as Durban in oh, South Africa. right. Okay. Old colonial names okay. of cities that are now known as something else. Right. So that is four points for the groups you found, four Yay. points for the connections, the bonus two points for getting them all right. It's a total of ten. That's pulled you out of the mud. <laughs> Time to bring back the festival fans, give them a connecting wall. 16 fresh jumbled up clues still need sorting into four connected groups of four. Festival fans, you are going to get the water wall because the lion's been taken. Two and a half minutes to solve it, of course, starting now. OK, um, Billy Budd's a, an opera. Friday Man Loves a Song by The Cure. Um, Love Cats. Love Cats is as well. So try Love Cats, Friday I'm in Love. Lullaby. Oh, yeah, Lullaby. Yeah. Love Cats, Friday I'm in Love. Yeah. And what's their fourth one? Hanging Garden. It's not Escape or Cats. Try Hanging Garden. No. We've got doors. You've got jam, um, panel, frame, oh. catch are all round the door. What else okay. is there? Threshold. Threshold. So threshold. Jam. Um, frame, frame, panel. Panel. That's good. Okay. okay. Um, the castle. A far escape, a far extinguisher, extinguisher, a fire, fire alarm, watch. and a fire watch, watch maybe. Yeah. Extinguisher, alarm, escape. Got it. Okay. okay. Number three strikes and you're out. You've got plenty no. of time. Okay, so so we've got the cure, and you've got what else? So you've got Billy Budd as a fish, fisherman, and anything else? No, Bill, Billy Budd's an opera. But, but he's also a sailor. But the you ca ca is catch to do with fishing. I, I don't know if I'm going completely wrong. No, right I think so. you are. I, I, I think Love Cats, Friday, in Love and Lullaby, but it's yeah. the fourth. It's the fourth one. It's the fourth one. Have they got one called The Castle? But what would be Whistle, Lullaby, uh, Whistle, Bully Bud, Catch and the Hanging Garden? I mean, are these operas? I don't know. Hanging Garden's a Babylon Bully Bud or something. I don't know what Whistle is about. Do you want to, right, let's try some cure ones. Hi, uh, try Love Cats, Friday, I'm in Love. Yeah. Lullaby. Yeah and try catch. That's it. You've solved the wall. Very well done. Four points then for the groups. Let's look for the connections. Jam, jam, panel, threshold, frame. The parts of the door, door. we said, didn't mm -hmm. doors. Uh -huh. Sections door. of a doorway, that's right. And the next one, extinguisher, watch, alarm, escape. Can all be fire. fire. You can say fire. What's fire watch? It's the thing they had in the Second World War to keep an eye on when the bombs were coming down. That's it. Looked out over London during the Blitz. Yeah. And this one, Lullaby, The Love Cats, Catch and Friday I'm in Love. It's Cure songs. Songs by The Cure. Catch, you didn't know, that's one of theirs. Yep. And this last one, Whistle, The Hanging Garden, The Castle, Billy Budd. I think we've got to go for that they're all operas, because I can't see any other connection. OK. Um, is that, is that, it might be operas based on... I mean, is The Castle, I assume it might be a Kafka thing, though, but I just... Oh, no, 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 just... just okay, do... operas, then. I'm afraid they're not operas. Billy Budd may be an opera. It is also an unfinished novel by Herman Melville. Oh, okay. The Castle, Castle Ka is Kafka. Kafka, but an unfinished Kafka. The Hanging Garden by Patrick White. Yeah. Whistle in James Jones's War Trilogy. They are all unfinished novels. Okay. Yeah. But four points for the groups that you found, three bonus points for the connections. That is a total of seven. Let's see what that does to the scores going into round four. The festival fans have got 12 points. Cat lovers have 15 points. If you want to have a go at a connecting wall, you will find some on our website where you can also write your own. But we are going to decide who's through to the semi-final and who's going home by missing Val. You know the rules of this by now, so fingers on buzzers, teams. 
The first group are all food additives. Fans. Monosodium glutamate. Correct. Fans. Xanthan gum. Correct. Fans. Potassium benzoate. Correct. Fans. Caramel. Yes, it is. Next category, they lived to be a hundred. Lovers? Irving Berlin. Correct. Cat lovers? Lord Denning. Correct. Fans? Lenny Richardson. Correct. Fans? The Queen Mother. Yes, she did. Next category, alternative medicine treatments. This one, it's naturopathy. Next clue. Cat lovers? A aromatherapy. Correct. Lovers? Acupuncture. Correct. Cat lovers? Ear candling. Yes, it is. Next category, films with courtroom scenes. Fans? A few good men. Yes, it is. Fans? Duck soup. Yes. Cat lovers? Oh, my goodness. The bell has gone off, ending the quiz. There's no time for you to say inherit the wind, if that's what yep. you would have said. And I'm afraid I have to tell you that the festival fans finish on 20 points and the cat lovers have 20 points. It's a tie break. Oh, wow. Now, the way this works, in case you haven't noticed before, it is captains only. There is going to be one clue. I'm not going to tell you the category. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you are immediately eliminated and the other team wins by default. But if you are correct, you're through to the semi-final, sending the others home. Captains, fingers on buzzers. Your decisive tie-break clue is coming up now. Festival fans. Parting is such sweet sorrow. That is the right answer. <laughs> well played, Marianne. You take your team through to the semi-final. And cat lovers, it's as close as it could possibly be. By a whisker, an analogy I'm sure you'll appreciate. You are out and going home, but you've played brilliantly. Thank you very much for coming. Festival fans, we will be seeing you again. So, as the competition hots up, join me next time for an episode that I think will be a bitter, determined fight to the death. But at the same time, a bit of fun for all the family to enjoy. <laughs> Imagine the Battle of Stalingrad settled by Scrabble. Goodbye.